Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the module 5 of BMATS 101 super important questions and in this video we have the following topics which are the most repeated ones from the exam point of view and if you watch this video till the end easily you can score more than 80% marks don't miss any of these questions these are the super repeated ones from the model paper and the previous year question papers and before starting please do like and subscribe it helps me make more videos like this and if you want this pdf you can DM me on Instagram and now without wasting any more time let's get started the first question uh, the first topic is rank of a matrix okay so the question will be given like this you have to find out the rank of a matrix okay so what are the steps we need to follow this we need to simplify okay we need to get as many zeros as we can so for that what uh, we'll be doing is first divide the uh, first row by two okay because if we divide the first row by two this value will get as one okay we have to get the diagonal values as one okay our aim is to get the diagonal values as one also we need to make the zeros here okay so two things we need to keep in mind first is diagonal uh, uh, element should be made as one and the rest the remaining values under it should be zero so first what we do divide by two when we divide by two we'll be getting the following ones okay we'll be getting the following uh, matrix when you divide the first row by uh, two okay after this so what we'll be doing is r2 becomes r2 minus 2 r1 okay means this value will become this value minus two times of this value okay r3 will be r3 minus three times r1 this will be three times minus this and r4 will be r4 minus six times r1 why we have considered two three and six specifically because it is two here right so if we do two into r1 two into uh, two minus two it will become zero 3r1 will do 3 minus 3 0 6r1 will do 6 minus uh, 6 is equal to 0 and if we multiply the row like uh, we are, what we are doing here r4 minus 6r1 right so 6 minus 6 this will become um, 3 minus minus 6 that will be 9 this will be 0 minus uh, 12 right 0 minus minus 12 that is 12 so this will be 12 and minus 7 minus minus 24 that will be minus 7 plus 24 that is uh, 17 right so that it will be uh, like the, those six will be writing here like that after that what we do we have got zeros here we have to focus on this one now to focus on this one we need to make this as one because diagonal element right and diagonal element this has to become one when this will become one what we have to do we have to divide the row two by five then you divide by five this will be five divided by five divided by five so it will be these values okay after that r3 is equal to r3 minus 4 r2 why we need to make this as zero this as zero right so we will do minus 4 r2 minus 9 r2 okay so this will become zero and it will be applied for the other uh, column values also okay then we divide row 3 row 3 by 6.6 .6. why because this one should be one so we'll divide this whole row by 6.6 .6. so it will be this one and then we'll subtract it we'll subtract r4 is equal to 6.6 .6 r3 we'll subtract it so that so that this becomes zero and this becomes zero here okay after that uh, what we can observe is this last row became zero right the last row became zero and uh, so which are the non-zero rows this is non-zero row this is non-zero row and this is also non-zero row so the rank of the matrix will be three another similar uh, similar question let's discuss this is the question given okay we'll be writing it like this and then we'll be first swapping r1 and r2 why because one should come here okay first this has to become one so we'll be swapping it and uh, we'll be making this as zero so first we have to do r3 minus r2 okay r3 minus r2 when we do r3 minus r2 will be r3 minus 3 r2 uh, actually okay uh sorry uh, it will be 3 so here what we'll be doing is uh first we'll be doing r3 is equal to r3 minus 3 r1 why why because we want here one right so when we uh subtract this from three times r1 we'll get here as zero okay and this will be one minus three into zero which is one only zero minus uh one into three which is minus three so this will become minus three 2 minus uh, this will become uh, minus 3 right right so this will be 2 minus uh, 3 what is 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 is equal to um, minus 1 right so here it will be minus 1 okay that's the same thing I have written here okay so when we uh, subtract it it will become 1 minus 3 and minus 1 okay after that uh, what we will be doing is We'll be doing r4 is equal to r4 minus r1, okay? Because we want a zero here, right? So we'll be subtracting it with r1. So when you do that, we'll be getting a zero here. This will be one only, and this will be minus three, minus two, minus one, and this will be minus one, zero minus one, okay? Now, as you can observe, this row and this row and this row are similar. So we'll subtract this from this, and we'll subtract this from this. That means r3 from r2 will subtract, and r4 from r2 will subtract. So both of these rows will become zero here okay so when we dispose become zero this grind of the matrix is two okay 
Moving on, we have solved the system of equations by Gauss Jordan method. 6x plus y plus x plus y plus z is equal to 9, 2x plus y minus z is equal to 0, and 2x plus 5y plus 7z is equal to um, 52. Okay. Now the equation can be written as a into x is equal to uh, d. Okay. So a will be 1 1 1, which is nothing but x y z value, and this is 2 1 minus 1, which is the uh, second one y value, and the third one. 2, 5, 7, this one will be written here and this is the x, y, z values, okay. And here 52 is written, this is the z value 52, so it will be written it like this, okay. Next what we will do, we will multiply uh, a with d, okay, a d will become like this one, okay. The equation whichever they have given here, we have to write it in this form, okay. After that, uh, we will be doing r2 is equal to r2 minus 2 r1, okay, r2 minus 2 r1 we will do, we will be obtaining this and r3 is equal to r3 minus 2 r1 will be subtracting it with uh, r1 we will be getting this value why we are doing this because we want here and here as zero okay now when we have got here and here as zero next what we will be trying is r1 is equal to 3 r1 minus r2 okay 3 r1 minus r2 so that this value will get as zero this value okay and also r3 is equal to 3 r3 plus r2 okay three times r3 plus r2 okay that will be uh, this value okay so here again this value will become zero okay so after we have uh, done that, what we will be doing is, we will be writing R3 is equal to R3 divided by minus 4, okay. The row 3 will be divided by minus 4, so this will become 1 and this will become uh, 5, okay, 1 and 5. Next we will perform R1 is equal to, R1 is equal to R1 plus 2 R3, okay. R1 is equal to R1 plus 2 times R3, okay, in this equation. And uh, R2 is equal to R2 minus 5 R3, okay. R2 is equal to R2, uh, minus 5 r3 okay r2 minus 5 r3 so this will become 0 here the 5 part okay and the 34 will become 9 here after we have done these two uh, operations on this matrix then we'll be obtaining uh, the following okay the below equation this matrix will be obtaining okay and after that we'll be performing this one r1 by r3 and r2 by r3 and we'll be obtaining the x y z values how we'll obtain x y z values is if you obtain 1 1 1 here then whatever the values are present here this is x this is y this is z like that okay moving on to the next super important topic uh, which is the gauss elimination method okay the above one was gauss jordan method in gauss elimination method what we'll be doing is we'll be taking these three equations and we'll be uh, Eliminating the values from these equations only like for example when we do equation 2 plus 2 times equation 3 equation 2 plus 2 times equation 3 what will happen is uh, Z value will go right Z value will go 2 plus uh, minus 2 okay so Z value will go off from these two equations so we'll just have X and Y values next what we do equation 1 plus 4 time equation 3 equation 1 plus 4 time equation 3 okay when we do that what will happen is the Z value will go because this z value is here so from these two equations we have got uh, without z here and without z here okay that one uh, the, those two values will be writing it here okay after we have written it here we will be doing 8 times equation 5 minus 9 times equation 4 so that the uh, x uh, the x value will go okay 16 into 9 uh, 9 is equal into 18 into 8 right so that time x value will go and will remain with y value only so we will got y value here and since we have got y value, you can substitute in this same equation to find out x value. After you have got x and y value, you can substitute it in any equation and find out the z value. So the values of x, y, z will be 3, 2, and 1. Okay, this is how you solve using Gauss uh, elimination. In Seidel method, what we will be doing is the equations which are given to us, you will be taking initially x, y, z values as 0. Okay. So if you calculate uh, x value from here, Okay, this equation, if you calculate x value, what it will be? 17 minus y plus 2z by 20. Like that, y value from here, it will be minus 18 minus 3x plus uh, z by 2. Like that, z value also will get from the third equation. We have got x, y, and z values. And to find out the first x value, iterations will be doing, okay? Three times a minimum. So, when we do the iterations, first is until we get 1 minus 1, like that values we get, we, do, we have to do the iterations. Now, y and z values will substitute 0 and find out x value, okay? We substitute the y and z values as 0 and find out the x value. After that, here in y, we'll substitute z value as 0 and x value which we have got previously. x value we have got previously is 8.5, uh, 0 0.85. We'll substitute that and z value is 0, so we'll get a y value. 
and uh, we have got the x and y values so in the last equation we will substitute x and y values which we have got and we will be getting an answer so this answer is 8.85 0 0.85 1.02 and uh, 1.019 okay so this is the first iteration now these xyz values will be taking and again substituting back whatever the values are present whenever we get a new updated value that value we have to use so in the second iteration x value of this will be used and the z value of the previous one will be used which is 1.0109 so we'll get another value here okay and for z we'll update uh, use the x and y values obtained in the same iteration so like that we'll keep on doing in third iteration we are getting here answer 1 minus 1 and 1 so this will be the final answer that much you have to do okay this is the gauss seidel method okay Going on to the next point of view, which is system of equations. Now, see, this is the most repetitive question in the system of equations. Find the value of lambda and uh, mu for which the system of these equations has a unique solution, infinite limit solution, no solution. Now, there are conditions in which uh, there will be a unique solution. Okay, so if there is to be a unique solution, first represent it like this. Okay, represent it like this and uh, do the row operation so that we get mu minus 10 and uh, lambda minus 3 why we uh, want this is because 0 0 is here that will be easier okay so the system has unique solution or if the coefficient of the matrix is non-singular this requires the lambda minus 3 not to equal 0 if this becomes 0 there will be a zero row here okay that should not happen so that uh, this value if that happens then it will be a unique solution okay so uh, lambda minus 3 should not be equal to 0 okay that will uh, that one will be getting hence the system has a unique solution lambda minus 3 is not equal to 0 like that uh, for the second one which is the infinitely many solutions what you have to do is uh, if we substitute lambda is equal to 3 here we'll be, we'll be getting a 0 in that case we will be having this following matrix where 0 is present here and here in that case the rank of the matrix is 2 here this rank of the matrix is 2 because there is a 0 row here and the mat uh, rank of a b that whole thing will be uh, 2 okay that whole thing will be 2 and if nu is equal to 10 this whole uh, matrix rank will be equal to uh, 2 whenever this will be 0 right if this is 0 so if this is to be 0 uh, new value should be uh, 10 right so if lambda is 3 and nu is 10 that means uh, it it is uh, the system is consistent but the rank of a2 is less than the number of unknowns okay that uh, that will be the case when it will be having a infinitely many solutions second one and third one is no solution in no solution what should happen is if lambda is 3 and nu is not equal to 10 rank of a is 2 and the rank of a b is 3 okay see if lambda becomes uh, 3 if lambda becomes 3 this will be 0 so this rank will be 2 and uh, nu is not equal to 10 means this rank will be 3 this is 2 this is 3 if the ranks are different if the ranks are different in that case they are not equal and the uh, equations will be inconsistent and the, there will be no solution okay these three rules you have to remember if both are 0 that means infinitely many solutions if one is uh, 0 and another is not 0 it is not having any solution if uh, both are not 0 then only uh, there will be a solution okay Moving on to the last topic, which is eigenvector and eigenvalues. Uh, so here, this is the uh, matrix will be given. We have to take a uh, uh, initial eigenvector matrix. This is one 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 here. Okay. So in the iteration one, what you have to do, you have to keep it like this and multiply it with one one one. When you multiply this with one one one, you'll get six into one plus minus two into one plus two into one. That will be written here, here, here for the second and third rows matrix multiplication, and we'll get a matrix here. Okay. That matrix answer we are getting here. We take six uh, outside from it because we want one in any place. Okay, so we'll take six outside. So six is the uh, lambda value, lambda one, and uh, this one is the x one value. Okay, so lambda one and x one value will be getting. They have told us to carry out six iteration. This is the first iteration. Second iteration, what value we have got here, right? That one we'll be taking and multiplying again, and we'll be again uh, taking the common outside. That will be the lambda value, and the remaining one will be the x value okay like that we'll keep on doing at iteration 3 iteration 4 iteration 5 and iteration 6 this much we'll be doing and that will be the final answer the last x value is the eigenvector after six iterations okay that's all for this video and uh, make, uh, please like and subscribe it helps me make more like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one